President Trump's national security adviser John Bolton has offered some words of assurances to the British people on the day the UK was supposed to leave the European Union, saying the United States is eager to do a bilateral trade deal and the UK remains at top of the queue. People who worry about the UK crashing out of the European Union, that's the phrase they use, they're going to crash right into the United States, Mr. Bolton told Sky News's Cordelia Lynch from the White House on Friday. We're standing here waiting to make a trade deal with the United Kingdom independent of the European Union, Mr. Bolton continued, in an optimistic note. I don't want to get into the specifics of what's been going on in the House of Commons, but I can say unequivocally President Trump is eager for the will of the British people to be carried out, and he is even more eager to do a trade deal, he said. At the time of the historic 2016 vote, and since, President Donald Trump has been a supporter of Brexit and the prospect of a strong U. S UK bilateral trade deal. Prime Minister Theresa May lost her third vote on her EU approved withdrawal agreement from the bloc today, on the day the country was scheduled to leave the European Union. Remainer forces within the House of Commons that want to stay as closely aligned to the EU as possible continued to press for May's deal, but with an added customs union, where the UK would maintain the same tariffs and trade policies as the EU, which would threaten the UKU. S bilateral deal. The president wants to deal with a Britain that can change some of the rules on trade we think disfavors the United States when it's in connection with the European Union, Mr. Bolton said on the issue of the obstructive customs union. Honestly, from the US point of view, and for that matter, the UK point of view, I don't understand why you would want to get out of the EU and not be able to set your own rules. That's what independence means, and that's what the president wants to do. He thinks that the EU rules discriminate against American trade, and he wants a free, fair, and reciprocal trade with Great Britain.